Come on, Tommy, this doesn't sound like a bit of a tune, listen. What is up, guys? It's your boy Fairs, I'm back with another video. Right, just an update one for you today. I will have some motor vlog ones coming up. Mid did a lot of filming the other day, but I need to edit it. So, what I'm doing today is just showing you what I have been doing. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll stop with the stupid voice now. Basically, I sold the little black one. The little black scooter is gone, and I was thinking about keeping it, but I didn't. But, I made a few quid on it, so I bought another couple of bikes. Got this one here, which is probably just going to be for parts, to be honest. Didn't pay very much for it, really cheap, really happy with it. Engine sweet. I don't think I'll ever go back on the road, someone wants me. Um, and I bought this. I know what you're thinking, right? That's the same, but that's your old bike. You've already had that one. That's not new. But you'd be wrong because I don't know if you can see down here in the pile of crap. That's my bike with the big bore and all that stuff. That's the one you've seen me working on before. If you watch some of my other videos, if not, go back and watch them. That is another one. Picked it up yesterday. Uh, just starting work on it today. One of the main issues is. The seat is jammed down. I've got the key for it, it turns a little lock in that. So I'm currently trying to break into that. I think I've got it cracked. I'm not going to show you how to do that because, well, obviously I don't want people knowing how to break into scooters because it's not good to steal things. Um, and I'm not even sure I've done it, so I might be doing it a really hard way. I've managed to hurt my arm trying to do it, but we'll get there. Um, this one basically needs stripping down, starting again. Uh, the electrics sort of work, the battery's gone so i need to do that i've strip it down i think the engine's got compression and that it'll turn over and that so i think with a bit of work we'll get it going I'm not sure what this shoelace is about i think that might be loose but yeah so uh yeah we got rid of one to make some space and then we bought two so um yeah whole making space thing's going mint um turbo scooter which is under that which isn't turbo yet i've ordered the parts for it i've started ordering parts so i've got to order the phalanges from Japan so it's going to be like a month before they turn up so there's no massive rush for that I'm just starting to accumulate some parts um, so I want to have everything together and then do it in hopefully one or two days um, so that'll be coming up um, yeah went out the other day and did a big motor vlog on the uh, Yamaha so I'll be posting that in the next couple of days just a lot of stuff to go through to edit because I've got like two hours of footage so yeah basically um, I'm just going to do a little thing today on what I've got to do with this bike. First, I'm going to have to break into the seat, so I get the seat off, have a look at the engine and that. You can't do nothing really without getting that off. I've got to drain the fuel because the fuel's going to be knackered because it's been sat outside for a long time. After about three months, your fuel turns yellow. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Um, charge the battery and see if we can get it going. Get the electric. I must clean up all the connections to make the electrics work. The exhaust is. Uh, seen better day I cable tied it on so it didn't fall off on the trailer on the way home so that needs some attention I think the head bolts might be knackered I don't know it'll still run without that but it'll be loud as hell I've got a spare exhaust somewhere in the pile of crap which you can see is more of a mountain now than a pile because I've consolidated it so I can fit my free bikes in um, hopefully I've got a spare exhaust for it I've got a couple of spare exhausts I've got one that's exactly the right one somewhere in there so I need to have a look through that but yeah, so uh, stay tuned, I'm going to break into that seat, I'm going to drain the fuel on that and then we'll have a go at trying to get it started once I've charged the battery and that, so uh, to be continued. Right, found the exhaust I need, I'll show you where it is though, this is not going to be easy, I've got to get a unit or something sorted out because this is ridiculous. Right, I've got a torch so you might be able to see it, I hope. Right, see a pile of exhaust back there, the one that's on the top. Here's the one I need, which is right at the back of the mountain of shit. The mountain of useful parts and scooters. So, uh, yeah, I can't reach it. So hopefully I won't get trapped under an avalanche. So far, I haven't got a clue I'm going to get that out. Probably, it could actually be any harder. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck on that. Um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully we'll return. I'll have the seat open, the exhaust out of there, and I'll start draining the fuel. Yeah. Right, the seat is off. And as a little bonus, we got some little freebies. Got some freebies inside the scooter. Um 
some sort of USB thingy and a plastic box thingy which I think is for that little tool kit that I'm guessing came with the scooter nice and rusty we've got a lighter which is very rusty huh. free lighter oh another free lighter that lighter doesn't work one free lighter what else have we got in here I'll take this battery off bolts and shit looks like drug bag maybe what the fuck hmm hmm wonder what was in that <laughs> we got some little freebies in here um some you know some Someone's been on the doll with this, it's got a little universal credit thingy. What else have we got in here? I'm not sure what I'm talking about actually. Sorry guys. Somebody with 53 quid. Sweeties. Bag packet bits. Lots of nuts and bolts. So yeah, scooter freebies. To be fair, it's not even the most interesting thing I found. The best thing I ever found in a scooter was that battery charger. Which I've used a lot, so buzzing. But yeah, scooter freebies. The seat was off. Is off. It was a freaking ball like to do it. We done it. I also found. I also managed to get the exhaust out of the. I should fit straight on. Get rid of that one. Or repair it or whatever. Find out what's up with it first. Next thing I'm gonna do is take the battery out, get it on charge, drain the fuel, put the exhaust on, and then um, see what happens. So yeah, brake. Right. Um, I've decided to be a bit lazy, to be honest. What I've done is put the battery on charge. I found another battery actually, I forgot I had, which is sort of charged ish. Um, I reckon the main issue was that all these, the brake lines and that were all, I don't know if I've got any, I did I throw them away. All the vacuum lines that go here were all knackered, like they all had holes in, so the vacuum pump wouldn't work. So the carburetor wasn't getting no fuel. I haven't drained the fuel, so it's still got the whole horrible fuel in it. But it would be a pain to do it because of where the drain is and I, I'd have to take the whole bike apart to do that and I'm a bit impatient, I can't be bothered so what I've done is I've hooked the vacuum line straight from the the sucky bit there, the vacuum out straight to that so it's not going through the car to the car it won't, like you won't be able to rev it or nothing properly but it's pump, it will hopefully pump, if that's working it'll pump fuel from the fuel tank to the carburetor even though it's horrible minging fuel it might start so um so yeah give that a go yeah 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 well then um yeah been as a boy yesterday i've spent an hour on it that's a pretty good result but, yeah i'll just kill it because that isn't moving so all i need is a bit of vacuum line and um yeah, we've got a scooter that runs, man. Do the exhaust is letting the exhaust out of there. I don't know why the exhaust is so loose. We're going to have to investigate that. They run. They run, they run good. How oh, that is running on that crap fuel, I don't know. But, good result, that. So, uh I'm going to sort the exhaust out and that. Now I'm going to have a little ride around on it. <laughs> Great. Right. Yeah, so it's running pretty sweet now. Um, basically what I've done is I've just plonked the seat on. Battery's loose. Pretty risky beers really riding around on it. But I want to ride it, so fuck it. Um, yeah, exhaust's on. It's pretty solid actually. It still sounds like it's blowing a bit, but I think it might just be the EGR thingy. Need sorting out, so we'll just block that off to be honest. I'm not messing around because it doesn't need it and it actually slows it down. So, what I'm going to do is put a little scooter about on it. It still needs some bit of sorting when I MOT it. I'm going to have to uh, mess around with a brake light or two and thingies like that, but all is well. Right, where's the key? Key, key, key. Where do I just put the key? I lost the key. Oh, there it is. Yeah, key. Ooh. The seat locks a bit, so the temperamental. Now it won't lock, but I've better than not unlocking, to be honest. 
So what I'm going to do is see if you'll start. This is all loose, so I need to sort that out. This brake light, I don't think works. I think this one does. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It... Hey! It's dodgy as hell because. Oh! My God! My God! Hey! Hey! It only bloody works now. Ah. Brakes work. It's all good. Ah. God, I think I'm nuts. Speedo works. Oh my God, it works. I'm very pleased with myself right now. Ah. This is alright, especially being as it's running on crappy fuel. Right. Turned out I thought the um I thought the head bolts were uh stripped out the head. Turns out the bolts are just not there. Usually you take the nut off and the bolt like stays in the head. But the head the bolts were gone. There was one sort of bolt sort of half in holding it on and that was it. So I've uh, put some new bolts in it and it's sweet. Very pleased. Quite shocked. But it works. So uh, yeah, buzzing. Sweet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've just got to carry on messing around with it, but that's probably all for today. The rest of it's pretty boring stuff like uh, trying to peel the stupid stickers off it and that. But um, yeah, so that's sort of half buildy, half model vloggy. Call that day if you want to see more, if you want to see what happens with this scooter. Make sure you hit subscribe, and until next time, peace. Come on, Tommy, this doesn't sound like a bit of a tune, listen. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Making me laugh, doing my little happy dance, because it runs.